you get something to drink right there? No, please have a seat. Sir, sure. please have a seat. No, thank you. Project Veritas. What are you doing? Give me a hug. Everybody may not know what Project Veritas is, so I'll explain it real quick. Project Veritas, it's an organization that basically exposes different kinds of fraud. And some of y'all might remember the Planned Parenthood thing where the lady that worked for Planned Parenthood was secretly recorded bragging about selling the body parts of dead babies. And that was about eight or nine years ago. But they'll interview somebody, then they'll come back later, kind of like Chris Hansen used to come from behind the curtain and tell the target to have a seat. Is it funny to to laugh about hiding things from people, I guess? I don't know, maybe maybe it's funny. I think I would call it navigation, for sure. Na what does that mean, navigation? Like it's navigating a social political climate, for sure. Why do you call your nonprofit organization a scam? Oh, uh, well... Why is it a scam? I would have... I don't think I actually said, you, I said not, my nonprofit is a scam. Yes, you did. Hold on a second. That's the nonprofit you work for. It's called Teaching Lab, right? Uh, I actually have multiple I work for. Okay. <laughs> This is the Chris Hansen part. He already did the undercover thing, and you'll see that later when I get to it. But critical race theory, it has the same objective as the uh, climate change people, the World Economic Forum people, the European Union. Basically, New World Order is the end game for critical race theory, too. They're on board with it. And I'm sure that not all of the proponents of critical race theory knows that they're going to end up in slavery or to the grave. Not all of them know that, so they ignorantly follow into this thing thinking that there's going to be a society of equality and equitable inclusion. And it is, it is true in a certain way. Equality and equity, equity and all that. It is true to, you know, in a certain way. There will be equity where everybody will be nothing in an equal way. Sitting in a literal or figurative cell together, all of us. Homosexual, heterosexual, Hispanic, male, female, white, Asian, black. Everybody will be equitable at the bottom of society. But people naively believe that what's going on is the movement to get rid of what people call white supremacy. And some of them actually do know what's going on, but they've been so far up into their feelings about the thing called white supremacy that they don't care that the end game is no good for anybody. They don't care. They just want, uh, 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 they're just uh, caught up in this idea that they'll get revenge against injustice. So they don't care. They know it's bad, but they don't care. They only care about the thought that white supremacy will be destroyed. Or with, with people, I don't call it white supremacy, but they only care about that thing being destroyed. Like in a suicide bomber mentality. Where I don't care what happens to me as long as I kill you. That's where they're at. But that's the end game of critical race theory. A smaller population with no middle. With no middle. With an absent middle. Only a top and bottom society. With a missing middle. Now Project Veritas, like I said... This is the part where they come in and let the dude know that he was being secretly recorded a few days earlier or a few weeks earlier, right? And something I've talked about in, in the past about a critical race theory, something I've talked about with the proponents of critical race theory, what have I said? They lied to you. Before the release of this story, and most Project Veritas stories, as many of you know, I can suddenly appear out of anywhere. I popped in to meet our subject, Quentin Bostic, to ask his comment on any of the statements he made regarding selling critical race theory-based curriculums in the state of Georgia, which is legally prohibited. What followed was a stunning hour-long conversation in which we debated deception, ethics, and the very nature of words themselves, straight out of Orwell's Double Think. From CRT, critical race theory, check this out. Is this seat taken? Uh, not that one. So, hey. This guy actually works with me. Oh, cool. Cool, um, cool. Um, Have a seat. How you doing? <laughs> hey there. We're doing a story about, uh, you admitted that you're selling curriculums in Georgia, uh, intentionally hiding critical race theory, and mm -hmm. you're aware of teaching CRT is illegal under Georgia state law, right? So this yeah. is you on video here. Don't say the word critical race theory. You technically teach it. government doesn't know. They, they have no clue. And I'm like... 
That's why when they're arguing with somebody who is against critical race theory, they'll say, show me where critical race theory is in schools. Show me. I ain't giving this shit. No. Wait, wait. <laughs> they'll demand it. They'll request it. They'll ask you to do that. Show me. And they tell people to show them where it's at because they know it's not there in letters. Nothing has critical race theory on the books and papers, but it is there. It just don't say it. Show me where. That's what they'll demand. And they'll demand it because they already know that we can't show them the words critical race theory. They know that. Kimberly Crenshaw, Kimberly Crenshaw, who is one of the faces of critical race theory, I want you to watch what she does. Watch what she does when she's talking to a group of her underling Marxists. And by calling them Marxist socialist, I'm being nice about it because actually it's a lot worse than Marxist than in, in socialist. It's a lot worse than that. Opening question for you about the moment that we're in. So let's just jump right into it. Yeah. Uh, I think too few people had any idea what what CRT was, including the conservatives launching the attack and most of the teachers who were being targeted as as teaching critical race theory. Uh, and so while anti-racist teachers certainly share a commitment with critical race theorists to teach a structural analysis of racism, I think very few have have ever really been formally educated themselves about CRT. So, you know, as one of the founding practitioners in the field, I was hoping you could talk to us about what critical race theory is and how learning CRT could improve teaching and learning in the classroom. Well, thank you, Jesse. And thank you. Thank you for starting with the the observation that the attack on critical race theory has nothing to do with what critical race theory actually is. Um, and also, I think acknowledging one of the challenges that those of us who were um, and are attacked by critical race theory um, face, which is um, a, an attack was made uh, people didn't know what the attack was about. Neither side knew. Uh, that, that didn't stop the conservatives from making the attack, but it did stop those um, who were being attacked from knowing what to say and how to defend the work that uh, is vital and, and that's necessary. And Jesse, I think you remember when we first started uh, working together, one of the real challenges that we were facing with so many uh, teachers um, and defenders saying, well, critical race theory isn't even taught in K through 12, that's right. That's right. which, you know, we called it the pivot. And even, you know, the first couple of months, I was saying, well, look, I'm not seeing critical. Uh, the, our book isn't flying off the shelf, so <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All of that was packaged into um, the category, the Trojan horse called critical race theory. So while we were saying, oh, it's not even being taught in K through 12, in fact. What did she do there? Uh, she told them to lie and how to do it. Oh, critical race theory is not in K through 12. You heard her refer to the lie as a pivot. A pivot in that context means to move, to duck, to dodge, and evade the claim that it is in schools. Oh, it's not in schools. That's ridiculous. So is critical race theory, Does is there a K through 12 curriculum <laughs> that right now is being taught? I'm sorry. I know it's a dumb question. And watch her do it on this show. And listen, it's not just this show because she's done this all over the place on a lot of different shows. Watch this. That's what's in critical race theory. So is critical race theory, Does is there a K through 12 curriculum <laughs> that right now is being taught? I'm sorry. I know it's a dumb question, but uh, is there a K through 12 curriculum on critical race theory that's being taught in schools around this country? Well, look, Joy, if it was news to most Americans that critical race theory was in K through 12, it was news to me, too. I'm one of the co-authors of one of the few books on critical race theory. I think I would know if we were being taught in K through 12. I mean, basically, critical race theory, classic critical race theory is a law school course. And it's really, you know, not taught as widely as I would hope it would. Yeah. But here's the deal. 
This is not about whether anything called critical race theory is NK through 12. I'm one of the co-authors of one of the few books on critical race theory. I think I would know. You know, we called it the pivot. And even, you know, the first couple of months, I was saying, well, look, I'm not seeing critical. uh, Our book isn't flying off the shelf, so (laughs) I don't know what's going on. Same tactic as she told her underlings to use. Oh, that's crazy. Critical race theory is not in schools. Where do these people get this stuff from? They're lying to you. They're Marxists. They're socialists. Everybody at the bottom. No bodily autonomy. Nothing will be ours. No property. Kids not ours. Nothing. Money. Digital. It will all belong to them up top not ours. They want nothing to belong to people. Nothing. Sexuality, gender, nothing will be ours. All will be owned by the state or the global state that we call the New World Order. All value or wealth or property will belong to the few or the elite or what are the other names uh, of the 1%. All will belong to them. And critical race theory is here to make that idea a reality. They, they have no clue. And I'm like, 